Hey everybody, I was too busy to get a video uploaded yesterday, but I did want to shoot a quick one this morning before I get my day started. I just got the tanks turned on here this morning, and one of the fish I caught recently, I added some new additions here to the native tank, and some of these big fat minnows down here are some of those additions, and one of them looks like an eastern stone roller. I had one of them before when I had a native tank set up a long time ago. It was a 40 gallon and it was just, I had like six sunfish and a big bass and it was just a tank to keep some fish in and, and one of them was identified for me as an eastern stone roller. I didn't know what it was, but it was clearly a sort of a lying on the bottom rather than a suspended in the water kind of fish. And one of the things I'm finding odd about this so-called eastern stone roller and the fish in question is this large one right here in the middle. See how swimmy it is? I never see it lying on the bottom or sitting anywhere. It always seems to be up in the water column and swimming around. And that's not really been my experience with the Eastern Stone Rollers. But let's start taking a little closer look at the tank. Look at the wood. See all those little weird grooves and scrapes and lines and scratch marks? that is pretty indicative of having an eastern stone roller in the tank because they are our north american version of an off walks grazer they get in there and they scrape and they clean and i've been saying for a long time that i wanted an eastern stone roller in this tank and so hopefully i've got one now and hopefully it'll live the one i had before didn't survive very long and i don't know whether it was my uh, water change schedule, my inexperience or what, but it didn't seem to die from crayfish or bass strikes. It just seemed to do really poorly. It just looked worse and worse and its scales got all dull and ugly and it just started swimming real bad. So I'm guessing it had something to do more with the water than the tank conditions. So hopefully this one will survive. I love the way they all huddle in front of or really close to where the um, water flow is that would be like the equivalent of a little freshet falling into the little pool they're in and they all sort of get there and I guess they're either getting the much highly uh, much more highly oxygenated water or they are simply waiting for food to come down current with them so so far today I have not seen my bass there it is I also got this little smallmouth bass which is pretty reclusive and still kind of shy it's in there trust me so I'm wondering if the behavior of the minnows hasn't been a little subdued since there is now a predatory fish because the minnows used to swim around a lot more freely than they do now. Now they act much more like you would see minnows in the wild, which is sort of seeking shelter and swimming down amongst the, the branches and the roots and things like that. Um, so again, they added the, the addition of a predatory fish in here changed the behavior but it actually has made the behavior more natural it might have looked pretty seeing all the fish swim around the tank before but it didn't look normal it didn't look natural to me that's probably one of the reasons why subconsciously I wasn't satisfied with it it just didn't look right seeing a bunch of minnows just casually sim swimming around the tank minnows are skittish little fish that are basically in fear for their lives at all times when they're out in the wild and they act accordingly they pretty much lay low and hide at all times when they're out in the wild so that big guy right there, I believe, is the largest of the creek chubs I have in here and looks very similar to the eastern stone roller right there. I actually have to take a few minutes to uh, identify them. I'm also not quite sure why the mouth on this new chub that I got looks white. It might be physical injuries from being in the minnow trap. He's only been in here for a few days and being in that tiny little trap could have caused you know, some injury to his face. Uh, pH shock a lot of times will turn fishes faces pink so maybe turning it white might have something to do with some other sort of water parameters not really sure what's going on there that might just be a normal uh, thing as creek chubs get older their mouths turn to get a little bit more white like that I don't know but that is something I've noticed and it is something that concerns me and here's the small mouth for a brief look just darted around the back there it is all right, well, there was your look at the smallmouth. It just chased out one of those little sunfish. I'm not sure what species the sunfish are yet. I honestly haven't really spent that much time looking at them. As far as I'm concerned, they're just little sunfish. I'll find out what they are sooner or later. 
Uh, other than that, I'm going to call this good. Say thank you very much. Uh, I got to get my day started. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything else I got coming up. Uh, I try to put out a video every day, but it doesn't always happen. Uh, on the other hand, there are days where you might get four or five videos from me. So it all works out in the end. I put out lots of videos. And if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of them. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget this is my native tank. See you real soon in the next one.